we're at a campsite, one that we frequent often, we're going to plug in our 50 amp first. Name a 1450 plug. We're just going to go ahead and just to see what we get. And I also have an adapter for the other one. And we do have a Gen 1. Well, at home we only get 240 volts, 40 amps. So this is actually pretty nice. Same kilowatts. Now we only get about 9 kilowatts at home, so 10 kilowatts is pretty sweet. Cool. Now that's dropping, though. Oh, that's about what I expected. I expected nine or ten. All right, well, that's one down, one to go. All right, let's stop the charge. All right. Experiment number one. Does that move no, no, I just want to. No, we're going to use that second plug right there. We need this one to have that plug, so we want both plugs. No, that's where the adapter comes in. You have to take, push that button. This is a spe this is a special adapter we bought from evseadapters.com. It's a travel trailer, 30. It's a Gen 1 plug. Bought it on purpose from them. Ooh, hold on. Oh yeah, you go, you go right ahead. I'm gonna go over here and get ready to film this part. So this is the experiment. This is the, we shouldn't have to adjust anything. Let me jump in here real quick and watch it happen. Let me stop recording. But this is, what happened? Yeah, go ahead and undo it. Interesting. Well, that changed to 24 amp there. It's 24 and drawing 20. That's barely better than my 110 outlet at home. Well, I should say it's twice as good, but that's not saying much. 110 at home can draw 12 amps. Well, it's twice as fast, but I'm at 52%. It's going to take a day. Uh, well, in a pinch, park for a couple days, it's not bad. That's this, this one place, so one of these days we'll, we'll, we'll go on down the line. We have a bunch more sites we can go to. Like I said, this is a place we normally go. Most of these Every electric side here has 30 amps, so, but they don't have 50. All right, well, that's the experiment. Now we know. EVSE plug works. EVSEadapters.com. Yep, go ahead and take it out. Well, it worked.